hello and welcome in this video we are going to talk about the morphology of flowering plants the topic is roots what is roots to roots ke bare mein hum pehle bhi bahut kuch discuss kar chuke hain ki roots teen tarah ki hoti hain tap root adventitious root and fibrous roots theek hai iske alawa aaj hum jo hai kuch structures padhenge roots ke bare mein ki roots ke andar teen major structure hote hain area of cell division area of elongation and last one is area of maturation what is cell division the cell division it's called the multiple cell will be grow the multiple cell will be form and then it will be go into the growth phase and then maturing phase so there are three kinds of phases available first one is cell division second one is elongation and third one is maturation what is maturation it means If we talk about the cell division, it means the cell new leaf cells will be formed. Okay, and the growth phase is it's called the cell will be grow and elongated in the size, in the shape. Okay, but what is maturation? Maturation is the term in which we will be discuss about the differentiation form. Differentiation. Okay, the maturation cells will perform a specific work. perform specific work and it will be converted into the permanent tissue okay matlab they yahan par kisi prakar ka inke paas kisi prakar ka division yahan par iske baad nahi hone wala kisi prakar ki growth nahi hone wali yani ye ek particular kaam ko perform karne lag jayenge okay so here are some more uh, important terms like root hairs apical meristem and root caps first of all we have to talk about the root cap root cap is the supporting part supporting part for the apical meristematic tissue what is apical meristematic tissue apical meristematic tissue is a dividing tissue apical meristematic tissue is called dividing tissue dividing tissue dividing tissue it means there will be one cell and then it will be divided into two cells and then 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 16 16 to 32 this kind of structure is grow grows up and multiple cell will be formed and this meristematic tissue is called apical meristematic apical it means top it present on the just last terminal of any kind of part of the plant so this is the root and the last part of the root present the apical peristaltic tissue okay the also uh, the name another name is dividing tissue you have to uh, remember it okay the dividing tissue is very soft very smooth and they have many they have they have much uh, quantity of cytoplasm cytoplasm tick what is the work of root cap apical meristematic tissue is uh, have many kind of cytoplasm so the root cap is just support and just provide a safety to destroy the apical meristematic tissue by the soil by the by the ropes because the root is growing in the underground part okay the and so underground they have there are many kind of roots present many kind of soils present there so it will be find the way apical meristematic tissue will be find the way to grow so root cap is just provide a safety okay so now talk about the root hair root hair what is root hair root hair is a another part of the roots which is very fine actually very fine very small in size compared to the main root system this kind of projection is used for root hair is used for absorbing absorbing the minerals absorbing the waters first the water is goes in the root hair 
by the process of osmosis the higher concentration to the lower concentration so just remember just just think there are number of water particles is more and there is number of particles is very less in the root hair so the higher concentration is outside and the lower concentration inside of the root hair so the higher concentration to the lower concentration water will be transferred so this process is called osmosis and the root hair has more water uh, particles than the actual root okay actual uh, area of maturation period so th there are few water molecule so again here is a low concentration and the root hair has high concentration so water will be transferred from here to there so this is also osmosis so like these the water travel into the plants through the osmosis process in the xylem vessels okay so now talk about the different kinds of uses of roots different kinds of uh, modification of roots first modification is uh, important modification which is storage of food sweet potato turnip carrot many kind of another roots which is developed into the um, food storage part okay you have it on the uh, sweet potato which is also a root you are eating a root like structure carrot carrot is a gajar gajar you add this many time so this is a root this is a storage of food okay so another important modification the mechanical support the prop root stilt root there are two kind of roots present uh, in the plants the first one is the prop root you have ever seen the banyan tree the banyan tree has many kind of branches goes upward to the downward into the soil and there will be new roots will be formed and this kind of root formation is called prop root and this prop root is supporting the branches of the branches of the banyan tree because the heavy weight of the banyan tree the branches will be goes down and just break and fall fall down so the prop root is just support mechanical support prop root is just giving the mechanical support to the plant what is stilt root right now have you ever seen the maize plant in the maize plant you will be observe the last basal part of the maize plant where some roots coming out from the stems and goes into the downward of the soil so this kind of roots which is coming from this stem this kind of roots is called pro stilt root stilt roots stilt roots again supporting the plants okay so now talk about the next characteristics of the modification of root the respiratory system respiration is also another important topic but you will be wonder that a root can be respire in the rhizophora plant rhizophora plant has a pneumatophores like roots okay so the roots become comes from the downward of the soil and goes upward in the direction vertically up, uh, upward which is used for the getting oxygen for the respiration and the this kind of roots called pneumatophores and the plant the those have the pneumatophores like uh, roots for purpose of uh, getting oxygen for respiration is called the rhizophora you can search on the internet you will be find the um, one plant here and the many kind of the respiratory roots will be formed in the basal part of the plant okay so that's all about in this video thank you so much